Hello, everyone. It's been a very long time. Ugh. For you guys who are watching this, it's probably been about a month since the last video was uploaded. For us, it's been almost a year since we last recorded this. It's been a while. It's been a very long time. In the last part, we uh, got the Song of Storms, and I, th I thought that we had ended up at right at the Forest Temple, but we did not. So, we had to make our way to the Forest Temple after we uh, got the hookshot and everything. So here we are, at the Sacred Forest Meadow. You're gonna see all these things, especially like these big buff thingamajiggers right here. There's like, Rrr. I don't even know what those are, like minotaurs? Mini, mini tar tars tars. Mini tar tar tars. Yeah. And you can use your hookshot to kill them because Why waste it's arrows even if we did have it? It would be a waste. Ah. Ah, censor that one, so you can't see it. So yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be back in full swing for once, maybe, hopefully, who knows. We should be able to, we've got a little bit more time now since we've got a set schedule. True. Oh. Whoa. I forgot, we've, ooh, that slowed down. Forgot how janky the controls are in this. Yeah, I noticed that earlier when we were, when I was just trying to, uh, maneuver trying to lock on to enemies and everything. Trying to rotate your camera, you just swing all the way around. It's been a little bit janky, at least for me, but then again, I've been playing Demon Souls, <laughs> so my maneuverability with everything, I'm thinking, you know, run it full swing, but kind of going at some awkward angles. Camera angles are turning too quickly for me. Yeah, and also... It sort of skips. Noticing how inaccurate the uh, actual thumbstick is. It's not as uh, snappy as you'd like it. Unfortunately... Can't hit this guy. He's too far away, so we have to do the good old tried and true. Dodge left and right. And hopefully he doesn't hit you. Yeet. Ha, huh, what you gonna do now, huh? That poor man. He's too wide to turn around. He's like, uh, what are you doing back there, step bro? <laughs> what uh, are you doing, step bro? <laughs> you tough. Drops a big ruby, dude, too, doesn't he? Maybe he's only 20. Yeah, 20. Oh, well. But yeah. That's just painful. We're gonna try to keep this going. See how well we do. Hopefully it's it's entertaining. Mic audio will hopefully sound better. Because we're using... Uh... I what we used last time. But it wasn't... The, it didn't sound the best. Well, we also... This is just kind of like testing everything out as well. Running yeah. through audio logs, trying to adjust everything, get everything to sound better, look better. The flow of time is always cruel. Its speed seems different for each person, but no one can change it. A thing that doesn't change with time is a memory of younger days. In order to come back here again, play the Minute of the Forest. Wet. Here it is. Ah. Uh. So we both didn't remember. We thought we already had already learned this, and he was trying to warp here. I guess when we started the game. <laughs> I went too fast. <laughs> 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 there we go. <laughs> it's okay. I don't know my left from right sometimes too. It's not that I was like tapping the buttons too fast, and it was like, nope, we're registering it wrong again. <laughs> I've yeah. mentioned it before and I'll mention it again. It's always nice to be able to come back to a game that you played as a kid <laughs> 700 times. Yep. Lunk. I'll see you again. I forgot we named him Lunk. <laughs> he is the lunkiest of them all. <laughs> we just made him sound incredibly goofy. You know what? Also, this song is copyrighted, so... Uh... Nope. You know, we came here to find Saria. We didn't even try talking. You want to talk to Saria, right? Yeah. Hello? I forget any voices we gave anyone. Besides Princess Zelda, we made her sound like Mickey. Or I did, and you got mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> this is Saria. Can you hear me? Great. You're safe. Oh. I knew I would hear from you again. 
I'm in the forest temple. The forest spirits were calling for help, so I went to check it out. It's full of evil monsters. Help me, Luck. Do I talk to her again? Nah. See, the funny thing is, when I was a kid, I always remember trying to skip through that dialogue after already reading it. And I kept hitting, I'm, I'm assuming it was probably just hitting B, like mashing B and hitting A over and over again to skip the dialogue and everything. And I always got stuck looping <laughs> through her voice log over and over and over again. I'm like, why does it keep doing that? But I was also like five or six. Yeah. So I always mixed my stuff up pretty badly. My question is, how the hell did she get up here? Maybe she's got a hookshot in her arsenal too. In her prison pocket, maybe. No, oh, shut up. We both missed. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna take a while to get used to this again. I think the last time I played this was on the 3DS. Those controls are a lot better than this one was. And I forgot how whippy the hookshot was. Yeah, it's not until you get the long shot where it becomes a lot yeah. more better. Oh yeah, Skulltola. Yeah, long shot's where it's at. At least in, uh... Shoot. Uh, or Wind Waker, they give you, like, a long shot equivalent. Way faster. Same with Majora's Mask, it's straight a long shot. You know what always blew my mind was... I, So, I remember playing uh, Majora's Mask. And then playing Ocarina of Time as a kid. Like, all the time. But what messed me up was that I remember the very first time I played uh, Twilight Princess, which I played it on the GameCube. And um, I got the regular hook shot, and then it just blew my fucking mind when they gave you two of them. Oh yeah, that was the best. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh baby, when am I getting the long shot? When am I getting the long shot? And then you open a chest and it's like, you got a second hook shot. I'm like, what the hell is happening right now? Yeah, it's a claw shot. Oh yeah, it is a claw shot. Also, just FYI, if you, if you don't, for everyone who's watching this for the very first time, if you don't grab that key, you're going to be lost throughout a lot of the stuff. I think you can't even get through the first door. I don't remember. Did I kill something straight up? Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh. Our smoothies are about to be here. Okay. We got smoothies. We did get smoothies. So, to give everyone a little bit of insight as to uh, what's been going on in our lives lately, um, we recently moved. Uh, we are no longer residing out in Texas. We are li living all the way up in Ohio. So, that was a... I don't even know. It was like a month, month and a half preparation. Yep. Plans, budgets, you know, we didn't just decide one minute that, hey, you know what, let's just pack everything up and just head out, <laughs> even though that has been my mental thought process for, like, how long? Yeah, I kind of got to keep him from just being so... Sporadic decision. Yeah, and plan it out. So, gonna, so, we'll be back in a second. <laughs> Did you just both the same? They're all kind of, uh, melted. <laughs> yeah. Assume as much. Ah. Everything's falling apart! Life. It's starting to grow on me, actually. It's, it's growing on me a little bit as well. It's not the best, but still. <laughs> it could be a lot worse. Yeah, it could be a lot worse. They could be... LaCroix. <laughs> <laughs> it could be sparkling water. That's the way I'm looking at this. Yeah, true. <laughs> so anytime I think something tastes too bad and I try it again, I'm like, it could be LaCroix. And then I could just take a sip out of it and I'll taste, I'll feel a lot better. Yeah, okay. So, the way I'm looking at it, I completely forgot how to do this temple. Well, not completely forgot, but I forgot where it can actually start. And go up to one of these that has a lock on the door and open that instantly. We also have this right here, you know. Play the song of time, right? Yeah, play the song of time. Make these blue blocks disappear. Blue blocks. Blue Why blocks. Go to the club and you get blue blocked. <laughs> <laughs> I 
You know it's been a long time that you played Zelda when you sometimes forget how to block. Indeed. This... Oh. I totally forgot you could do that. Yep. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Temple! Uh... Uh... You can summon a scarecrow up on that balcony. We haven't. We didn't go back in time. Oh, we, we never went to... Yeah, we never actually got the song for it. That makes... Also, you kind of need the... Long shot, I think, to get to it. Gosh dang it. So... Janky. There's, <laughs> there's another one up to the top left. I know, but the long shot won't reach it. So you gotta go... Slowly, because... They hunt by based on sight. They hunt based on movement. The two. Which <laughs> I never knew as a kid. Yeah. Oh hey, we're gonna get Deku Nut. Yeah. Boy, they don't curse you in this one, that's right. It's, it's... There you go. It's in uh Majora's Master where they curse you with the blue bubble. Do they? Yeah. I, oh, that's right. I forgot you haven't played Majora's Mask all the way through. Yeah, I only played... I want to say up to the first two temples. Dungeon map! It's always map first, then compass. You know, it's funny because I remember playing this not too long ago, but I played it with the randomizer. So, all of the key important chests, like these, um... They would give you the map piece stuff. Like, I could literally begin the game and right off the bat get one of those chests and it'll automatically give me a key, like an important key item. Like, I could literally get the ocarina right off the bat. Trent. Yeah, randomizer's fun and all. But, you know, sometimes you just want to play the classic. Well, yeah, I mean, obvious. But, to test my, like, to really test my knowledge on the game and my abilities on... See. Finish your sentence. What was I talking about? <laughs> ah. Almost. About testing your knowledge in... Oh yeah, testing my knowledge in the game. Like... It's it's just always nice to see like find a creative way to get through. You should be able to just hook shot over there to that chest. Don't. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. Oh, you know what? No, wait. Yeah, you'd have to hit it at a really good angle though, because if you hit it on the side, you're just gonna slide off. Right? No. No, oh, you got it at a good angle. Yeah. See, if you would hit it on that right side right there, you would have slid down and died, or not died, but fell in the water. Ah, it was worth it. Yeah, you got a Skulltola at least. Yep. Yeah, I'm realizing, since we're spoiled now with all the uh, better controllers and everything, like how uh, how crappy some of the old joysticks actually were. You play the good old classic. Like you play play these on emulators and everything, and. They smooth out the controls. Yeah, the controls are so smooth. Then you go back to this, and it's like, oh yeah. It's like it's not as smooth as you remember now, is it? Yeah. Isn't there an invisible chest? No, it's just that. You got See, one of these. <laughs> I'm trying to like remember all of the secrets that were around the area. Like I, th I'm pretty sure if you play the song of storms around there somewhere, then a fairy. Chonky fairy comes out, but I could be dead wrong. Yeah, I'm lost there too. I have no idea what you're talking about. Have you ever summoned the chonky fairy? I think so. It's just a sick pink fairy, and you cannot capture it in a jar. Hmm. All right, so we got this now. Uh, you've got two keys or one? two, two. Yep. I uh, feel like I can barely see your light. Turn the light off if you want. Down. So yeah, yeah, like I said earlier, I have a new kind of a new setup for this for now. It might work 
out, might change it up a bit, who knows, depending on how everything sounds. I would say it's definitely a work in progress, but this is definitely a step, like, a step above what we previously had. Yep. Because back then we had very little room to work with. <laughs> I'll get you eventually! <laughs> you could always do the spin trick where you just flick the joystick. Hit B. Could've. But he pissed me off. It had to be done. <laughs> uh, go back over there real quick. What? Yeah, like over there. Look up on the roof up there. Now. No, I think I'm true. I was gonna say I think there was an invisible uh, hookshot platform up there, but I think I'm just thinking of like another uh, another area. It might be the puzzle in the. Uh, for the uh, ice arrows? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh no, their arrows painted. Oh, I thought they were talking about the floor master. Oh yeah. Yes, good old classic puzzles. But are they puzzles? <laughs> Mess up, and then you have to go research the area if you go too far. Well, maybe not this part. Not this one in particular. I don't ever remember mess. This is our first major temple in the game, besides the three spiritual stone ones. Yeah. We're going for our first medallion temple. Yeah. It's always so nice to be able to just come back. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Something about Zelda is just, like, completely different in capturing, like, my attention. Most other games were, uh, in my childhood. Can't mess with that yet. Yeah. Even though, you know, I think a big... Big pointy metal piece thing would still hurt the eye. <laughs> I I think it's more to do with the fact that pierce. Cause well, like, what, what do you call the arrows then? Are they not piercing it? Well, that's what I'm talking about. It has more to do with the fact that the arrows will pierce, whereas the hook shot would. N it makes sense in my head because like when you think about it, a bowstring when you shoot an arrow would. It's going to have a lot more speed and velocity, whereas the hook shot's just kind of... Well, it's a hook shot. There's no science behind how fast it can go or anything. There may not be any science, but the fact of the matter is it accelerates Link's arm to the fact that, that it would break if he actually used it in real life. How fast he goes? I watched a Game Theory or something, some video like that on it. It's like, how fast does the hook shot accelerate? Yeah, it would... Break Link's armor and yank it out of socket. And for it to go for him being like at stiff armed the entire time, yeah, I could I could see it. Yeah, see that's where you, where you need the second key. 